Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Monday, November the 20th, Thanksgiving week, and I want to wish a great big happy birthday to my nephew, George. Happy birthday, Georgie Porgy. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. All right, our devotion, of course, is coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God, uh, Trusting God Day by Day. <laughs> and our devotion today is entitled, God Gives You Grace for Today. I love this. Our scripture is a short one. It's out of Matthew chapter 6, verse 11, and it reads, Give us this day our daily bread. God is so faithful. All right, let's get into this. God wants us to pray every day for whatever provision we need for that day. And I try to do that every single morning. God will give you all the grace you need for today. And he will also give you grace for tomorrow. But tomorrow's grace won't show up until tomorrow. We are to learn to live our lives one day at a time. I used to be frustrated as soon as I got up in the mornings. I was always in such a hurry. No matter what I was doing, I had my mind on the next thing I needed to do. Ditto. I'd rush to make my bed, but be I'd rush to make my bed, but because I never kept my mind on what I was doing, I was already anxious about the next thing I needed to do. <clears throat> as I started making the bed, I'd think I'd better lay out some meat to thaw for dinner. So I'd leave the bed half made, rush downstairs to get meat out of the freezer. But on the way there, I'd see a pile of dirty clothes and think I better put those clothes in the washer and get the laundry started. <laughs> Just as I put soap in the washer, the phone would ring. So I would run back upstairs to the kitchen to answer the phone. While I talked on the phone, I'd realize I needed to load the dishwasher. So I'd put a few dishes in the dishwasher as I talked. But then whoever was on the phone would say, would you like to go to town with me? And I'd think, well, I do need to get some stamps to mail some letters. So I'd hurry to get dressed to go to go to town. I'd carry on like that all day, never finishing anything I started because my mind kept moving on to other tasks that I needed to do. That is not the way to enjoy life. It is a challenge to thoroughly get to thoroughly enjoy every moment that God gives us. But when we learn to do this, we will enjoy our days. If we don't enjoy every part of our day, we will miss the life God intended for us to enjoy. And I can relate to this somewhat, uh, although I have learned maybe it's just, you know, the maturity. I'm going to move this back some because I feel like I'm in the, there we go. I've learned to slow it down and spend the time with the Lord, even when I am severely distracted. Today, I'm very distracted. Um... My friend Janet is in town and she's come over today for um, to work because there's things going on with the RV. She's in town for Thanksgiving and her and her husband have just moved this way from Arizona. And so they're going to be shortly looking for properties and a home to live in and all that stuff. So we're here as kind of a, a stop. And so my brain is in hospitality mode. What can I do? You know, but I have to have that time with the Lord. I have to have my mind focused on him, not distracted by the phone, not distracted by other things. And I've learned to ask the Lord to order my steps. He knows everything I got to get done that day. And he knows the enemy is going to exploit that and try to rob from me, use my schedule and the things I've committed to do and the people that I want to bless He's going to try and attempt to exploit that, <clears throat> to leave me distracted, frustrated, and I'm just not going to have it. So I said, Lord, lead me today. Thank you, Father, for giving me everything that I need. I ask, I always pray this in the morning. I ask for and receive your grace today. I want to have grace in every thought, word, and action. I want to have his grace because I need grace. I need grace if I'm distracted or if my feelings are frustrated and my husband, we found out yesterday, his aunt passed away and we're not going to be able to go because the funeral's tomorrow morning and it's a 12 hour drive. There's, there's just no way we can't make arrangements in enough time. So I was on the phone with my mother-in-law this morning it was her sister. And, um, you know, I mean, we know she's with Jesus, so that takes away some of the sting of, of losing her, but we knew she was terminally ill. 
she was diagnosed earlier this year and refused treatment because she was just like, I'm just not going to go through those pancreatic cancer. But, um, and I do appreciate your prayers because we never know when the grief will hit you like a ton of bricks and it's always sad, but I'm praying for, um, her children, uh, cousin Patty, and then Kenny and Chris, if you can remember them in prayer, that would be wonderful. But, um, all these things happening and then you got the holiday coming up and some other things going on. And it's like the devil is going to exploit your schedule. He's going to make sure that you don't get anything finished, that you're in a constant state of stress and frustration and chaos. Okay. He's going to introduce that. And it's like, no devil, you're not going to do it. So give me today, Lord, everything that I need. Ask for your health healing from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. We can ask for that because God made a covenant by his stripes. We are healed and we have been healed. One is in Deuteronomy. The other one is in Peter. <clears throat> okay. He reemphasized Deuteronomy was the foretelling the prophecy about the, the um, healing. Second Peter was the, he came and he's fulfilled it. So now we, we have been healed. That's the one in Peter. We are healed is the one in Deuteronomy. And so there you go. Or is it Isaiah? Okay, I could be wrong. All right, my brain isn't. But anyway, I ask him to keep me from evil. Use that Lord's Prayer as your, as your, um, as your model. Give me today everything I have need of. I need your wisdom, Lord. I need your provision and I thank you for giving me everything that I need for every bill that is paid for every uh, meal that is prepared. You have provided that. And even if things are looking bare, give me today, Lord, everything that I have need of everything. He'll give it to you. I need healing. I need wisdom. I need insight. I need you to order my steps so I can get all the things done today without anything falling through the cracks. And then help me to say no to things I need to say no to. And that means don't overschedule myself because I can very easily slip into overcommitting. I found out yesterday, I realized I have three events in one day on December the 9th. And I had to, I had to let one of them go. Even though I was, I had committed to doing the decorations. I said, I will still get all the decorations for that, for that event, but I'm going to be out of town. And so I will get all those and fulfill that commitment. I just will not be present, which hurts my heart because, you know, you, I just like to do everything with everyone at all the time. So. But it's important that we ask the Lord daily to give us what we need. We need his comfort. We need his grace. We need his peace. He gives us a peace the world does not give. He's the Prince of Peace. We can ask him for that. When we focus on him, He'll keep us in peace. Isaiah 26, 3. He will keep those in perfect peace whose mind is focused on him or stayed on him. So he can give us whatever it is we need for that day. And he already knows it. And when we ask, it comes from a place of sincere, a sincere cry from our heart. Not memorized words or things like that. Just a sincere cry from our heart. He knows what we need. So our trust in him today. Have you enjoyed your day? Every moment? God wants you to. And I challenge you to examine your life and ask yourself, how much of my life am I wasting on anxiety or simply not paying attention? Make trusting God your first priority in life and he will give you peace to enjoy every moment of every day. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you right now. Thank you for this reminder that we can come to you and ask you for what we need for each day and not ask and then think that that's going to cover us for the next month. No, every day we need to come and ask for that. Even if we anticipate, Father, everything's going to be fine for the next day. We need to daily seek you for what we need those things we need in the natural, those things we need in the spirit. Father, we thank you for ordering our steps today. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, fill our hearts with your peace and presence that we will know, Father, and not allow the devil to steal from us one moment of our day. For those, Lord, that are living in stress, anxiety, and chaos, 
Father, help them to zone in to the source of that. We know the devil's all up in there, but what is it driving that? Speak to our hearts and reveal it to us that we can disarm another weapon the enemy would use against us. We submit and surrender this day to you because today is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name. Well, God bless you. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I do hope your Thanksgiving week is off to a good start, filled with peace, joy, and happy preparations. God bless you guys. And bye until next time.